In an important medical story for Americans tonight, heart doctors are putting out controversial new guidelines for preventing heart disease. Well, Australia's National Heart Foundation is examining new American guidelines for cholesterol-lowering medication. The new guidelines greatly expand the number of Americans that would be eligible to receive statin drugs from about 36 million previously to as many as 72 million now. Statins are already taken by millions of people. Their use has quadrupled in the past decade, with 60 million prescriptions a year in England now. NICE wants to lower the threshold to 10%, so many more people will end up taking statins. Why? They say regardless of what your numbers are in most cases, you might need to be on a cholesterol-lowering statin drug. So let's bring in Dr. Robert Grenfell, the National Director of Cardiovascular Health at the Heart Foundation, to talk about this. And a very timely chat too, isn't it? Do you agree, first up, with giving statins to those who don't necessarily have high cholesterol? The drug industry buys influential doctors. And these doctors are allowed to sit in guideline committees. There is not one single trial that have proven that statin works in primary prevention. We are all going to die, and if we don't have some certainty that by taking a drug for decades, we will expect to live longer, then we have a problem. This kind of guidelines are of the big farmer, by the big farmer, and for the big farmer. It's crazy. What is considered to be normal cholesterol has progressively gone down. So you can sell more drugs. The exact same thing is true for hypertension. So all these factors correlated with heart disease, if they have those factors high, they're protected. They will live longer. So this is something to me that people should be studying. I mean, it's like, what is wrong? How does it start? Why is it created? And the answer is, nobody has been able to explain it. But what we have explained is the mechanism. 60% absolute difference in mortality. You will not find any other variable that will give you anything within a tenfold factor of that. It's a huge difference. There should be changes all over the place. We need a revolution. And one of the first things is that doctors should look at themselves in the mirror and ask themselves, can I really defend accepting money from a corrupt industry? Which business model is organized crime that has caused the death of hundreds of thousands of patients over the years? Can I really accept to get money from an industry like that? I think the answer is very simple. You must say no.